Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana, and here is your tech tip. Hi, my name is Brian Norton, and I'm manager of clinical assistive technology here at Crossroads. And today, um, for our tech tip, we're going to take a look at something called Natural Reader. Natural Reader is a free speech, I'm sorry, text to speech program that anybody can download um, from the internet. Um, and what it does is once it's installed, any selected text um, on the computer can get read back to the user. Great for persons who have print disabilities, um, possibly a person with learning disability, um, or other types of, of impairments. So uh, we're going to pan back over to the computer here, and we're going to take a look at Natural Reader. Natural Reader is this icon right up here. I already took the liberty of downloading it to the computer. It's a very quick, small program. When it comes up, it looks like a bigger window. Uh, but you can actually turn it into a floating bar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to open up a document. And I'll just do that in WordPad. And this could be a PDF file. This could be things on the internet. Um, but I'm just going to type in something because I don't have any real files on this particular computer. But um, let me click into here and I'll just go ahead and say kind of write something generic here. Okay, so I just kind of typed in a sentence there. It says the United States flag has 13 red and white stripes. If I go ahead and highlight that, and then come over here to my natural reader bar, which again is a floating window, so you can place it over top of the application you have open. And then if you hit play, the United States flag has 13 red and white stripes. And it just simply repeats to you um, what was highlighted there. So if you have, again, difficulties with reading, you can kind of see that. The other option would be to um, actually take whatever was selected and turn it into an MP3 file. Um, so you can actually create audio files on the documents that you might have on your computer um, as anything that natural reader would read to you just by simply highlighting um, could be turned into an audio file that you could take with you on any of your um, mobile devices. So anyways, that's the tech tip for today. Um, thank you for your time. So that was your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.